welcome back. At the end of the previous part, we got our postcard read on air, which means we have to send another one in, really, doesn't it? I had a postcard read on the radio once so far. I need to get two more on the air to win a deluxe prize worth a million yen. I need to think of another story that's good for the radio. Write a postcard. What should I write about? It needs to be a topic Donchi Kamiya would want to read on air. Hmm. Girlfriend with a secret. Write about shutting down a high school burrasera ring. Now let's see. There! Oi. Marina, can you mail this postcard later? Hi. Of course. Our postcard's your new hobby. Not exactly. Just don't read it. I won't. Never. Ever read it. Huh? Said I won't. Stop saying that. They choose my postcard. Better tune into Dolce Camilla's radio show next time and check. Yes, we'll do that next time. But one thing I want to check out here before we see about heading off to the empty lot for a little bit is very much what's going on with the place nearby that's we've been to previously. The bar that we're at. Because it's blue on the map now, but does that mean that's not that's the place we bought previously? So it's like Serena here. Why is it blue? So sort of thing, I can understand your point of view, though. Yeah, it's like, it, it's understandable. Kiryu, I mean, I'll try. I was hoping this is going to be a place I could buy or something. Like a little karaoke bar. Something like that. Is there any other places I can buy, though? That's the question. Is it obvious which ones you can buy? Because I don't see, like, a mark or anything like that. It's like... Just walk up to random business. I mean, this place looks familiar. Can I buy it? No idea. No idea. Am I going to buy this place? Then what places can I buy? Anything? Hello. Hello. The only problem is like, can't get both of you because you'll disappear. It's disappointing. Let's actually go over to this. Damn it, I was trying to hit you when you were down. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him, Kiryu. Oh, he's a hard hitter, isn't he? So, let's go over this. That wasn't what I was trying to grab, but okay. That could have gone better. Again, too focused on trying to be silly. Look, the other guy's gone. It's like, aww. I've had two of those guys. Yeah, what else can I buy? I don't know if it's that obvious to be like, hey, you can buy this building. It says, look, can I buy it? Can I buy it? It's pretty old for an adult place, but it still seems pretty popular. What should I do? There we go. That's what I want to do. Just find a place to buy and see what happens then as we add it to the list. How many more places can we buy up? That's the thing. So, whether I've got the money, that's the question, though. I wanted to be more... There we go. They're just places that have got, like, a... Front, as we're putting it. I haven't got 16 million, have I? At least we know there's a place... Can I buy this place up? No. That's going to be a thing I'm doing in between the parts, isn't it? Just going around buying places. It's on. 
ご機嫌いかがでしょうタイム司会のドルテ・カミアです As always, we kick off the show with shout outs to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Come on, Dolce, read the postcard from Judgment Kazi. Doldrum Drumstick Sun. Oh, it's time already. Too bad, too sad, but that's our show for today, folks. Damn it. Yes, yes, yes. Postcard didn't make the cut. Fine, we'll try a different one then. Make our way through all this. So what would be interesting to him? It's got to be juicy, so there's something off about that one, wasn't there? The quest for Ara Q3, maybe? Alright, about helping that kid who had his Ara Q3 taken. Now let's see. There. Oi. Marina. Can you mail this postcard letter? Hi. Of course. Are the postcards your new hobby? Not exactly, just don't read it. I won't. Never, ever read it. Huh? I said I won't. Stop saying that. Hope they choose my postcard. Better tune into Dolce Camilla's radio show next time and check. Okay, so now we can add stuff to... This is where we need some other side stories so we can get some more managers. And it's like, I can see how it all built up. Let's go, let's go eat. We you, just in terms of my money and looking at it. Keep a check of my money. So I can't get more people, can I? It's almost time for payout, though. It's like, it's that sort of thing, like, I can only go somewhere and then it's like, there'll be a payout. I need, let's go to a fight or something and get to payout. I'm wondering if, like, we get a pager or something. Just announcing it. I'm hoping I find a, another guy. Where is he? One of the gold ones? Maybe. Like I'd be that lucky to just stumble into one. I mean, I nearly stumbled into two. There's some guys over there. We'll have them. We'll have them. Let's try and get some more money. That's the thing. What was going The bike flew away. The bike flew away. Why did the bike fly away? I don't know, but it was amazing. It's a magic flying bike. Oh yes. Oh, what's happening? Get you at the right opportune moment. Oh, I was going to throw you. Good, good, good. Need to see about getting an item box as well. Get some of my healing items out of it, because probably need that. Just buying a little bit of time at the moment so we can get around to... I mean, that kid looks suspicious. Is that anybody who's just standing about? It's like, what's going on here? Item box is what I'm after. Because I do have stuff over here. Yeah, as much as we can. Anything else we could get? Let's go with them. That'll work out for us. Right, let's return. It should be enough time now. Plus, we've also got the postcards on the radio. Now right, we know how this works. Today's feature podcast is from our listener, Judgment Kaze. Hello, Dolce Kamiya. Hello. I love your show, regular listener. Thank you. 
The other day, I met a young schoolboy who had his Ara Q3 game stolen from him. Oh no. That game's really popular, I hear. It's a high schooler who took the younger kid's game. Then the high schooler had it taken by a punk, who then got it stolen by a Yakuza. Wow. It turned out that the Yakuza was the father of the little boy who had the game stolen originally. Got to believe it. Whoa. Now there's a twist ending. Yes, do you play games, Dolce Kamiya-san? Just ring Kazikun. Are you making up stories? What are the chances? But if it's true, that's a sad state of affair where people would steal video games. Did the father give it back to him? I hope everything worked out. As for me, I only play one game. The game of love. Whoa. That's the second time Trishman Kaji Kun has had a postcard featured on the show. Hi. To get on air three times, you win a deluxe gift worth a cool million yen. Keep your postcards coming, listeners. Oh, it's time already. Too bad, too sad, but that's our show for today, folks. See you next time. Yeah, we know how this works. Another one of my postcards got on the air. Mr. President? Is something the matter? Uh. Yeah? I mean, no. It's a... Nothing. Cool, cool, cool. Right, we need another one then. What would be good? Yeah, we know this. Right, postcard. Hmm. We don't want to give up those guys. Being a TV producer. Right, about helping out with a TV location shoot as a producer. I should check back at their studio place. Now, let's see. There! Oi. Marina, can you mail this postcard later? Hi. Certainly. Who are you sending all these postcards to, anyway? It's a secret. Finally putting yourself out there, Mr. President. Huh? Just don't read it, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. I hope they choose my postcard again. Better tune into Dolce Kamiya's next radio show and check. Well, alright then. Alright, pay out ready. I want one of these money battles. I just, I just, I want it. This thing right now, it's like, investing more here. Hmm. Just want to invest, 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 invest. Good, good, good. That's what I like to see. Staff, you're up to one. Gotta be careful on you, you'll eventually get to a minus two. Seems good. Start collection. Still need more money, I really do need more money before it starts coming in big. Right, so. Thinking, because it's in my head right now. Although we've got an exclamation there. We'll be back, we'll be back at some point with that. That TV group. What were they called? And where were they? That's the question. I know they're about somewhere. We're very much looking for side stories along our way at this point. As we travel to the empty lot. But there is a location. It was near the fighting thing, wasn't it? There, it's this place. Somewhere around here is where they were, wasn't it? Hmm. Well, we'll make. So sort of like the rounds to that location. We could bump into a side story. We'll look, look out for anybody that stands out. You know how it is with these games. I say these games. But we played this one. But <laughs> specifically this game. And right now. I imagine it's similar. Okay, it's very drunk. Don't see anybody just standing out. Although you're standing out. Oh no, you've moved. Okay. It was around here. Wanna go inside, maybe? Ah. Welcome to Kenrai. Let me show you to a seat. May I take your order? Love that. Mm-hmm. Ah. 
Thank you for coming. We hope to serve you again soon. Alright then. So where were those TV producers from? Because I just remember this location. Maybe back... Maybe I should try and take him. I should try and take him. That'd be a lot of money that would be helpful for everything. Yeah, you. You're that guy from before. The one who picks fights with innocent passers-by. You heard about me? It makes it easier. I'm called Hirya Higashira. Right. Working on becoming the strongest living creature. Becoming what? Being the strongest man in the world just doesn't cut it. One day I'm going to stand at the apex of all organisms. That's a hell of a plan. Awfully ambitious for someone who acts like a common thug. Why the strongest living creature walking around town beating up people for money? I'm not going to the gym or any of the regular stuff is enough for me. I need special training. That costs money. How else am I supposed to pay for it? Everyone in Japan comes to spend money here in Kamurocho. So here I am, looking for easy pickings on the streets. Well, better look elsewhere because I don't feel like donating money to your cause. In fact, I plan on taking it. It's not a voluntary donation. Take it by force. You won't have a single yen left when I'm done with you. We'll see about that. So much like beast mode, but I need some stuff around. Because it's very much that case of like, nope, nope. I was pressing pause at that point. I was pressing pause because I wanted to go to this stuff. Okay, very well. I need health and heat, but not a little. I need a lot, really. I was gonna triangle him. I tried to triangle you. Just, just want my health this time. Get away from him. And because I've lost my heat now, haven't I? Like, damn it. Works so well with... <laughs> it's like, stop it. Stop hitting me. I think it's probably wise to go over to this. So then I can grab something. Try and grab something. Oh, this is not going well, is it? Give me my bike back. <laughs> it's like, no, I need my health. Is that a good idea to eat the mushroom at this point? Probably not. A little's not great. I need, I need... That's what I want. Okay, while he's down, while he's down. Significantly... <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, that could have gone so much better if I hit him right. We'll try again. Just when I get the chance straight away. Huff, huff. I've got to admit, you're a tough one. So you get it now. Your money is my money. I'll make better use of it anyhow. Uh, get shaken down for one million. This is peanuts. I need real money to get stronger. Looks like I'll have to keep doing this. Oh, hold on. Give me back my money. Damn, he's the real deal. I better stay out of his way when I'm carrying lots of cash on me. Well, after that, I was heading off to go to the pawn shop to sell the platinum plate that I had. And I ran into this middle-aged woman who seems to be having a little bit of bother, so ah, please don't hit me. A watery investment. What are you talking about? You're not the victim here, you filth. Aha. Uh -huh. Quit making a scene. People will think we're the bad guys. Are you not? Hmm. Yeah, indeed. Let's see what's going on here, then. Oi. 
You two. I don't know what's going on, but take it easy. You're clearly stronger than her. Uh -huh. Stay out of this. This woman is filth, and she needs to learn her lesson. Yeah. No way. I'm not going to sit back while you guys beat up a defenseless woman. Uh -huh. Well then, we'll just have to kick your ass first then. You can't watch if you're out cold. <laughs> that makes sense. Except the kicking my ass part. Real funny. Eat this. Alright then. He's got a taser, I noticed that. So back up. That's not backing off, that's the opposite. Well that works, doesn't it? Can I pick up his taser? Pick up the taser, pick up the taser. Aw. I wanted to use the taser. Please. Enough. Stop. Sorry for the ruckus. Oh no, not at all. You saved my life. Thank you so much. Please, take this. You got a toughness said. Oh, I should know that's not nearly enough for saving me. Yeah. No, no, it's too much already. Yeah. Oh, please. I can possibly let you go with so little. If I may, I would like to thank you more fittingly. Do you have some time? Yes, I'm free. Yes, I'm free for a bit. But... Oh, you too? Thank you. This is hardly the place. Can we go somewhere we can sit and talk? Uh. Sure. Don't trust her. What's going on here, then? Thank you again for saving me. I'm also sorry for not introducing myself sooner. I'm Nezu. I'm Kiryu. Kiryu said, I'm sorry I asked you to join me here. But I simply couldn't let you go without thanking you properly. Uh. It's no problem, but what exactly did you have in mind? Uh. Yes, yes. I shouldn't keep you. This is it. Mm. Is this some kind of soda? It's aha water. Mm. Aha water. Uh. Yes. Drinking it removes impurities from your blood. Your circulation will improve noticeably. <laughs> it leaves your face feeling supple and smooth. It can also be used for cooking. It enhances all the delicious natural flavors of the ingredients. Uh huh. No, oh, that's impressive. My diet hasn't been the greatest lately. I do worry about my health. A man living on his own can easily slide into poor eating habits. Yes, that's completely understandable. Can you, son? Since you saved my life, I can give you a huge discount on this. Aha, water costs 1.5 million yen for a month's supply. You, I can offer it just a million yen. Nani. What? This water costs so much that a million is a discount? It's only natural that one should spend money on a product this fantastic. Can't put a price on your health. Mm. Just drinking this water will do that. Yeah. Yes, yes. It does wonders for your vitality. Yeah, that men benefit from steel hard firmness too. You know, down there. Smooth circulation, supple skin, and steel vitality. Yep. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ample resolve, ready to spring into action. So, you will buy a high water for a million yen. Okay, I'll buy it. Okay, you convinced me. I'll buy it. <laughs> I knew you would come around. Then we'll process your payment and member registration. Remember, the correct answer is no, but we're going with the wrong ones. Uh. Got it. Good. That's all the paperwork. I'll have your first month supply sent to your office, Kiryu. Is that okay? Uh. Sure. And don't forget what I said earlier. Please tell your friends and family about Aha Water. It's an opportunity for you to earn money, too. Right, yes, I'm looking forward to that part. I'm glad that we could have this conversation. This is how I hope to thank you. Yeah, I get it. Appreciate the business tips. I think this will be really lucrative. <laughs> it's wonderful that you catch on so quickly. Well, we're done. You can look forward to your first delivery soon. Uh. Sure. I'll be waiting for my aha water. 
Uh -huh. So that'll be back at the office then. What's this going to develop to though? Because there was someone else watching us. Well, let me carry on and go sell stuff and we'll head back to the office after this. Ah, it's one of those things where I can't go anywhere. Sniff, sniff, ah. <laughs> Who's this guy? Doesn't look like a barker. Hmm. <laughs> Shady as hell. Hope he leaves me alone. Hey there. Um, what? Telephone cards. I know you have some. Oh, it's this kind of guy. Just give me a little peek at them. Uh. Fine. Uh. Not bad. Ooh, look at the curves on this one. Oh, God. Alright, I see it. Yeah, nice and clear. Oi. What are you doing? Hmm? Me? Ah, I'm just looking at the cards. Why? Yeah. Said you saw something nice and clear. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can look at a photo of a girl and see the whole shebang. Hmm? The whole shebang. Have you ever stared at a girl's photo long enough? That her clothes started to melt away. Ah. You know, we get a feeling for how she'd look naked. You can imagine where all her curves are and all that. And you go to the club where she works and see if she really looks that way that you imagined. Fun, you've done that too, right? No. Yeah. Uh, no. Can't say that I have. Seriously? Yeah, not even once. Are you a virgin or something? Nani. What? That really is something you just ask people. <laughs> Didn't think so. These days everyone gets it out of the way in their teens. I don't know anyone over 20 who hasn't done it yet. Hmm. If you find any more of those telephone cards with girls on them. Let me see, all I need is a quick peek. I doubt I'll find many more. Just to say I even run into you again anyway. I'm always at the various girly establishments getting my freak on. In between sessions I might have time to meet. That's big of you. Do you have the stamina to keep that up? Well, I'm known for my boundless energy. My name's Akimoto. But they call me Mr. Libido. Nice. Bet they do. Real men can go five times before they even get warmed up. No kidding. Alright, time to find a place to wreck the weasel. Wreck the weasel. See you. Wreck the weasel. Anyway, I was waiting here. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, that's more CP. Because there was a guy wearing gold around here. He's gone now. Also suspicious of that guy in that jacket over there. Might be a guy, might be a woman, but I don't know and I don't get close because it might be another sub-story. I lost out on a... Nouvelle Riche. I missed out and maybe he went up the alleyway. Maybe. Maybe I can find this Nouvelle Riche. There's one. But can I get to him before... It's probably the same guy, it's just kind of annoying. I need the Nouvelle Riche. Can I get the pick? Can I get the big cone? Can I get the big cone? Big cone, big cone, big cone, big cone, big cone. Big cone. Oh, I was hoping to use it. At least our money's going up. That's something. Anyway, back to the office. President Kiryu, what on earth is this? Oh, the Aha Water's here. Great. Aha Water. Uh. Yeah. If you drink this water, it removes impurities from your blood and improves your circulation. It also leaves your skin supple and smooth. Cooking with it is supposed to make any food taste really good. Hmm. You want to buy some, too? It only costs 1.5 million yen. If you introduce your friends to this water, you can earn some money, too. Can't lose. Yeah, it's not a pyramid scheme or anything. What? That's a textbook pyramid scheme. What's a pyramid scheme? Really? It's an illegal sales method that adds more and more buyers through its own network. How could you fall for something like this? Yeah. Actually, I was just going to drink all the aha water. Oh, Mr. President. Aha water? More like boo-hoo. Aha? More like ha-ha. They bled you dry, kill you. Can't believe it. I'm gonna throw this weird water away. Hey, wait. Uh, don't. Guess I've been hurt. Yeah. That's the end of that? Okay. Fair enough. What about, what about, what about, what about postcard? Now get to the good bit. Get to the good bit. Oh, 
Today's feature book is from a listener. Aw, oh, Teenager Forever. That's disappointing, isn't it? I wonder if it's just every other story. What about the one we just did? Can we write about that? The water scheme. I write about meeting that pyramid scheme woman. Now let's see. There. Very angry about that. Oi. Marina, can you mail this postcard later? Hi. No, oh, certainly. Who are you sending all these postcards to, anyway? It's a secret. Finally putting yourself out there, Mr. President. Uh, d d d just don't read it, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. I hope they choose my postcard again. He looks very angry, doesn't he? Very, very angry. He's like, Ooh. Payout ready. That's more like it. That's lovely. Okay, so. That's still good on that front. Okay, let's see about. Hmm. It's gonna have to be that again, isn't it? That just seems to be the best one. I'll be spending so much time doing this, aren't I? I have, by the way, got some of these stuff that I spent some CP on to improve the collection time. Lovely. Right, uh, so what are we doing? I don't even remember anymore. Who am I? Where am I? I think maybe we'll probably actually end this part here, because I've got a lot of... Qu oh, we'll do the postcard. We'll do the postcard. I forget that that's going to immediately do it, isn't it? Hey, come on, it's got to be, it's got to be. That's not me. That's not me. Just... Mm. I want this postcard done. Write a postcard. Let's go with the Yokomichi Silvers. I'll write about meeting the Yokomichi Silvers without giving any secrets away. That's what I was worried about. Now let's see. There. Right, so it's going to be the same from here on in. Uh. <laughs> see how fast this is building up now. That's fast. That's fast. Basically, I'm just going to wander over to the empty lot in the next part, and it'll be like, it'll already be refilled. One thing I do need to get is money to buy this place. It's, what was it again? 16? Yeah. I need a bit more than that. Not right now. Not right now. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I've only got one left. Password Pilgrim. The shop with the secret password. Let's see. There. Right. Surely that'll get read out. Not I need to get some more sub stories done. Not that that's a problem. <laughs> So much that case of like, yeah, kind of, kind of gonna get that done. I still want to have one of these money battles though. Do I just have to get it to 100% in the area or something? Well, I don't know then. We're gonna need some more stories, aren't we? Simple as that. Let's see what we're at here. Nearly. This is like a third. Is it slowly going up as I watch it? I don't think so, I don't know. But we are ending this part here anyway. In the next part, we'll go off to the empty lot and see what's going on there. Ta ta for now. <laughs> Bye.